Hey, Nolan, Trevor Grossi, Tigers.com here. Um, I'm guessing this has probably been the longest offseason ever for you personally, uh, just uh, starting with the shoulder surgery, having to go through rehab and everything else that's been going on in the world and, and waiting uh, with bated breath to find out if you're actually going to have a season. How, how good is it going to feel to finally step foot on the field Saturday night? Oh, uh, yeah, man. It's gonna be awesome. um, you know, we've, we've waited such a long time, like you said, and, you know, have, have experienced and gone through so much over this offseason, um, you know, starting back to shoulder surgery. Um, had that back in the spring. Got to, you know, watch all the guys compete throughout the spring. And um, and then – but really it was, it was a good opportunity for me to, you know, kind of um, – repair the shoulder and get back into some treatment and, you know, get my strength back and really just heal. And um, so it's been good. But, yeah, through all that, you know, we're just uh, super excited to compete uh, Saturday and, you know, looking to start competing against some other guys other than Trevor Lawrence out here too. So. Nolan, this is Grace Rayner from The Athletic. Um, speaking of Trevor Lawrence, what is the most, I guess, impressive play you saw him make this offseason now that he's in year three? I um, mean, you could just go down the list. I mean, the dude can make any throw. Um, I mean, y'all have seen him on game day. He's just such an incredible talent, such a just different player. Um, and, you know, I think, you know, this year it's just, you know, so obvious how uh, – just how comfortable he is back there and, um, you know, just his experience really shows and, you know, picking up blitzes and, you know, making the right throws, making the right decisions. And, um, you know, you just got to remind yourself sometimes when, you know, we're having a tough practice that, you know, you, you, we don't see this, this quarterback every week, uh, thank goodness. But, um, yeah, he's just a different guy. Um, uh, just super talented, super competitive, and um, just a great leader. He's just a special guy to have on our team. Nolan, this is Dennis Dodd from CBS Sports. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, just about Trevor also. Him becoming obviously a leader on the team early on regarding player empowerment, but now he seems to be a national voice with, with players. I just went, wondered what you thought about that. Did you ever see that in him early on? Uh, yeah. I mean, he, since the day he stepped foot on campus, he's been a leader and, um, you know, just very mature for – his age when he came in as a freshman, um, just strictly about his business. And, you know, you kind of, he kind of earns that respect coming in as a freshman and just by, not by what he says or anything, but how he worked and um, just his level of maturity. And, you know, I think that was, that's been who he's, that's been who he is since day one. And um, so, you know, just seeing him grow throughout these three years he's been here is, um, it's been special. And, you know, he's just, just, you know, such a good leader and um, such a good, you know, representative from this team. Eventually, he, you know, he's going to move on and others are going to take his place. What, what do you think will be, I guess, the end game to this, the, the legacy of this whole movement? Um, you know, I think, you know, got, it's just the type of guys that come into this program. You know, you saw in Deshaun Watson the same way, just the type of leader he was. And then comes down to Trevor and, you know, whoever else, you know, takes over after them, um, you know, just um, just a different level of, you know, maturity and, um, you know, these these guys that we have back here that have, you know, played here at quarterback and that just play all over this team is, um, you know, just just great leadership, you know, that people build throughout their their time here. All right, thank you. Hey, no one, it's it's David Hood with Tiger Net. How much of a of a teacher have you had to be this camp with so many of those younger guys trying to, to bring them along, uh, you know, and make sure that, that they understand that in this defense, it's more about being in the right spot than trying to make the big play. And, you know, how much have you been coach Turner as much as you've been Nolan Turner, the safety? Um, yeah, I think that's the, you know, the biggest thing with young guys is, you know, just explaining to them that, you know, it's all about just doing your doing your job and, you know, the plays will come and, um, you know, you'll make the plays that you need to make. But, um, you know, these guys made it easy. They're just super committed, um, obviously all super talented. And, you know, they've really bought in and you, know, you can tell they care. So it's been cool to see them mature um, over this time and you know, watch them learn throughout camp, watch them compete and get better um, and fail and then continue to get better and build off of it. And, um, you know, it's just, it's been fun to watch and uh, just super excited 
uh, you know, together and play with these guys and, you know, with this defense and this team. And, um, you know, it's just, it, feel like, it feels like it's been so long and, you know, we're just ready to get out there on Saturday. You know, has there been one of those younger players or, or been a moment where you've kind of gone, wow, and, you know, is there somebody that we can look at back there at that spot, you know, that, that by week six or seven we'll all know their name? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously Landon's just, you know, such a, such a good player, um, super rangy, can really cover some ground. Um, he's great in coverage. You know, he's made some um, great strides throughout camp, um, you know, watching him cover one-on-one. Um, and, uh, you know, it's impressive to watch. And it's, what, it's cool to see his fundamentals and how they've grown. Um, you know, other guys, I think Joseph Charleston is a, you know, physical dude, great tackler. Um, you know, he's, he's, he's been um, getting a lot smarter learning the defense. And um, it's, been, it's been cool to see, you know, same thing with, you know, Jalen Phillips, Ray Thornton, um, just two great athletes. Um, and, you know, they're, they're developing too and learning. And, you know, everyone's just gotten so much better over camp. And it's cool to have seen them come from their freshman year to now. And they just all look like different dudes. Um, so it's, um, I think, you know, by, by that week, six or seven, um, you know, a bunch of those guys will have made a big name for themselves. Hey, Nolan, Josh from the Boston Courier. Do, do you enjoy that role of kind of being like a coach-like figure for the older guys? And has it changed the way um, you approach things at all for yourself? Uh, yeah, I think it, you know, I've got to hold myself to a, a higher standard. You know, you got to, um, you know, just always, you know, continue to be that leader and, you know, just lead by example. Um, and so it's been fun to, you know, just be with these guys and hear their questions and answer them and, you know, kind of be, you know, that old head now that, um, you know, people, people ask those questions too. So it's been cool. It's been um, a good experience for me. Um, you know, I've definitely grown as a leader um, throughout this time. And um, so it's been, it's been a good experience. Hey, Jake, it's Trevor again. Um, how, how much of a – I don't know if you'll be watching um, ESPN game day um, on Saturday morning as you're, as you're waiting to kick off later that night. Um, how much of a relationship have you built with, uh, with Jake Curb Street uh, playing your position? Um, and has he told you any amusing stories about his dad? <laughs> um, yeah, it's been cool to have Jake over at the safety side now. You know, he's with the corners for a while, and – He's made that transition over to safety. He's done a great job, um, you know, moving positions, learning a different spot, you know, having a different feel out in the field. And, um, you know, he's, he's done a great job. He, he always comes in, uh, works hard, um, you know, so he, it's, been, uh, it's been fun to build that relationship with Jake too. Uh, no, I don't, he hasn't, I don't think, told me any stories about his dad. Um, that I can think of off the top of my head, but um, yeah, but me, you know, me and Jake have a good relationship and it's been fun to, you know, get to know him and um, see him, you know, grow as a player these last couple of years. Any other questions for Nolan? Uh, Nolan, one more question. Uh, it's Trevor again. Um, the, the new eligibility rule, um, you know, have you thought a lot about that um, and, you know, just kind of having that in your back pocket, you know, if you decide that you want to come back to Clemson and play another year next year, have, have you given any thought to that? Um, I haven't thought too much about it. You know, obviously it's, uh, you know, I think great rule, you know, giving everyone a, another year back, but, um, you know, I'm just kind of taking it, you know, one, one day at a time, um, you know, hopefully this season works out the way we think it will, where we'll get all our games, but, um, you know, when that time comes for me to make that kind of decision, I'll um, put more thought into it for sure. But, um, you know, as of now, we're just, you know, ready for this week, uh, ready to play Wake Forest on Saturday. So, um, but yeah, I think it's a, it's a great thing for a lot of guys, you know, for Braden, for example, who got his year snipped from him a couple of years ago, you know, getting that year back now. Um, so I'm excited for, um, you know, some guys like that, that, you know, ultimately get another red shirt year, I guess. It's David. I'll, I'll ask the, the final question is, you know, there, there's no Justin Ross, no T Higgins out there, no DeAndre Overton. What have you seen out of these younger receivers and, you know, kind of how do they compare to, to what you, you went up against last year? Um, the biggest thing, you know, I've seen in practice is just speed. You know, they can, they can all move really well. They're all fast. Um, 
you know, you got Amari back, coming back for his fourth year as a kind of the leader, and Cornell as well um, as a fifth-year guy. And, um, you know, I've seen them grow. I see the speed out there. You know, we've got we've got ballers all over that, you know, wide receiver group. So you'll see them uh, step up and make plays. Um, you know, I don't, I don't expect there to be any drop off there. Um, you know, it's a hard working group of guys that, you know, shine through camp. So they're, they're going to be fun to watch. Hey, Nolan, uh, Scott Kiefer here with the Greenville News. Uh, you know, Dabo likes to refer to the, the past decade as the best decade in Clemson football. And certainly it has been, and you've been a big part of that. But as you prepare to embark on this next decade, do you think this program is well positioned to, you know, match or even uh, exceed that the success of the past decade? Yeah, I mean, you know, like Coach Sweeney always says, the best is yet to come. And um, you know, that's how that's how this, the foundation of this program is built. And I think you see you know, every year it just gets a little bit better. And, um, you know, it's it's exciting to, to see and think about where this program is headed. And, um, you know, it's been an incredible decade. And, um, you know, that, and that's just all about the, the type of guys we bring in here. Um, the, just the, the work ethic um, these people have, the coaches have. And, um, and then we start over each year and, you know, reinstall the program and, um, and reinstall just, you know, everything we do and make sure everyone's on the same page and so we can ultimately take off and, you know, get to that, that point that we want to be. And so, you know, I think, I think we do it the right way. And, um, you know, it's, it's going to be um, incredible to see where this program is in, in 10 years from, from now.